The iPhone 15 Pro Max has the best camera on an iPhone ever, or does it? It doesn't need to beat the Galaxy S23 Ultra or any other Android phone. It needs to beat the iPhone 14 Pro. To find out if it can take the win, I've had a lot of fun taking photos and shooting video with the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the iPhone 14 Pro. The conclusion? Well, I'm not gonna give the game away just yet, but there are some significant improvements here. You're just gonna need to know where to look. Just before we get started, there's a few things we have to talk about. First, I'm Andy Boxall. I'm a senior writer at Digital Trends, where I've written about and tested smartphones for at least a decade now. Second, I've left it to the cameras to deal with the photos here. That means auto mode, no tap to focus or anything like that and I've taken the photos off and examined them on a monitor, not just the phone screens. Now, let's get on with the test. What makes the iPhone 15 Pro Max's camera special? The 15 Pro line has a 24 megapixel default image size, up from the iPhone 14 Pro's 12 megapixel image size. There's a new Smart HDR feature, and the Photonic Engine returns to add detail and now works in night mode too. Choose the Max, and you get 120 millimeters or a 5X optical telephoto zoom and a new optical image stabilization system made specially for it. Plus, Apple's new A17 Pro chipset is working behind the scenes. So there's definitely plenty going on inside the glass and titanium case. But has this all translated into better photos? Well, the first photo is a great example of needing to know where to look. The colors are stronger, more vivid in the iPhone 15 Pro Max's photo, but they're also smoother and less noisy. See the black car in particular and how there's less noise in the windscreen and on the gold wheels. The gravel on the ground is less harshly realized and the contrast levels are more favorable in general, particularly when you look in the background. This is a great example of how the improvements you'll see in most normal photos that you take with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Our next photo is an important one, as it shows off the improvements made to the Smart HDR feature. Just look at the sky through the gap in the trees. Well, you can't in the iPhone 14 Pro's photo, as it's an overexposed mess. But there's cloud and blue sky peeking through in the iPhone 15 Pro Max's photo. It makes a difference to the entire image, which is more balanced detail and more pleasing colors. The great news is this carries through to the wide angle photo, where the image is beautifully exposed and really highlights the attractiveness of the scene. There's a lot less distortion around the edges of the photo too, making it look more natural. Here's another couple of examples about how the iPhone 15 Pro Max's camera has improved in specific circumstances. The stained glass window has warmth and depth in its colors. And while I'm not convinced the white balance is as accurate as the iPhone 14 Pro's photos, it's more emotive. Then take a look at the sunset, where the iPhone 14 Pro overexposes, while the iPhone 15 Pro Max balances the color of the sky with the reflections in the water and the green grass. It's not entirely an improvement, but I do think there's more emotion in the photo and it's less clinical than the iPhone 14 Pro shot. There are a lot of zoom modes to play with on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Tap the 1X button in the camera app to shift between 24 millimeters, 28 millimeters and 35 millimeter focal lengths for 24 megapixel shots. Alternatively, opt for a 2X or a 5x optical zoom and 12 megapixel shots. Or getting close to your subject and the camera swaps to a macro mode that uses the wide angle camera. There's a lot to experiment with and often you just need to let the camera sort things out for you. This example of an insect on a flower is great. The iPhone 14 Pro switched to macro, but the iPhone 15 Pro Max didn't resulting in a much better photo. In situations that are hard to cre recreate, this kind of intelligence can be indispensable. So how about the 5X optical zoom? After all, it's the big difference between the Pro Max and the Pro. It's good, but it's not infinitely better than the iPhone 14 Pro's digital 5X zoom. Controversial, I know. But take a look at these two examples. The first 
is the kind of chance capture where a 5x zoom is essential. And while the iPhone 15 Pro Max's shot is obviously sharper and more detailed, the iPhone 14 Pro's digital zoom isn't terrible at all. The photo of the hovering hawk is similar. The bird's feathers are more defined, as is its colouring and features. But the iPhone 14 Pro's photo probably isn't as bad as you'd expect it to be. The 5x zoom is a big benefit on the Pro Max and is clearly better than a digital zoom. But I'm pretty sure more than a few people will be fine with the iPhone 15 Pro's 3x optical zoom and just use a 5x digital zoom should the need arise. Looking at the night mode, the iPhone 15 Pro Max often takes less noisy photos than the iPhone 14 Pro. But otherwise, the changes don't always improve Im images, they just make them different. The white car is far less noisy, for example, but the sign on the pub is better exposed and has a more realistic colour in the iPhone 14 Pro's photo. It's similar with portrait shots where the iPhone 15 Pro Max has more detail and more realistic colours, but backgrounds can be noisier than the iPhone 14 Pro, and the subject can sometimes be sharper too. How about video? Well, many of the changes that affect everyday photos, more accurate exposure levels, subtle changes to the contrast, they're all present. But work still needs to be done to control these, as the iPhone 15 Pro Max's colours don't always look very natural. Action mode continues to impress with its amazing stabilisation. And the shot you see here was taken handheld at 5x zoom. And believe me, the viewfinder showed a lot of shake, yet only a little is evident in the final video. There's fun to be had with the iPhone 15 Pro Max's video modes, but the appeal is quite niche in many cases. So what's the conclusion after all this? Well, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is Apple's best camera ever. There are enough improvements here from the multiple focal lengths and zoom modes to the hugely improved Smart HDR to make it a genuine upgrade from the iPhone 14 Pro. I haven't really preferred any of the iPhone 14 Pro shots that I've taken over the iPhone 15 Pro Max's photo, outside of portrait shots. This says a lot about how the small alterations have added up to a far greater better photographic experience on the latest iPhone. The question it does raise is whether you really need the iPhone 15 Pro Max or if the iPhone 15 Pro will be more than enough. I've not used the smaller 15 Pro model yet, but based on the iPhone 14 Pro's 5X digital zoom performance, I have a feeling it may be more than enough if you can't stomach the extra money for this year's largest iPhone. Thank you very much for watching through to the end. And don't forget, as if you would, to like and subscribe if you want to see more great tech videos from Digital Trends. And I'll see you again soon.